Yo, what's up, baby? It's 40 from Can't Stop Art. So a quick video, and the reason I'm making this video is because I'm going to do some wine bottle projects. So I thought, wait, when you get a wine bottle, for example, it has the label, and it, you know, to take this off, what do you? What's the easiest way? So first things first. This top part is made of like uh, metallic, right? So I could use an exacto blade and just cut this off, right? So this is not stuck on. So let me do that real quick to these. And the cool thing also is if you live next to a restaurant, right? Most restaurants throw these in the trash. Uh, the, re the restaurant I live next to, I went over there and I said, hey, can I have some of your, uh, your wine bottles, your empty wine bottles? And they said, sure. So they gave me like 20. I didn't have to pay for them uh, and I didn't. And of course, if you drink wine, of course you could do that too. But I got these for free and I will use them for our projects. Once you take off the, those tops to remove the labels, what I'm gonna use is this little plastic scraper, right? This is like an X-Acto blade, but this is plastic, right? So it won't actually cut you, whatever. Uh, you could use a regular one, but this won't scratch the bottle, etc. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius, and then leave the bottles in there for 10 minutes. After that, take them out, and make, they're gonna be hot as can be, huh? Take them out with one of these, and then just lightly, Anyways, I'm gonna show you. Let's turn this on. So, somewhere about there. Now, I didn't preheat this, and uh, no big deal. I did put some water in them to make sure uh, to get out all the wine. There is probably just a little bit of water in each of these, which is okay, huh? There we go. I'm not preheating it. I'm just going to close this. We're going to come back in about 10 minutes. I'll take them out, maybe 12. I'll take them out and I'll show you how to remove the label. So it's been about 10 minutes, right? Why don't you come on over here? We're going to take them out slowly. I'm going to put this mitt on. Bam! Look how sexy. The... Anyway, come in. Whoa, hot, 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 hot. Remember, these are really hot and something doesn't smell so good. So I'm wondering if one of these has some plastic on the label or something, which is possible. And if that's the case, then that's what that horrible smell is, which I know you guys can't smell through YouTube, but taking these puppies out. And remember the dumbest thing you could do right now. And also these have some liquid in them. I know that because when I have my hand, the, the, the mid up here, the heat rising from these things is incredible. So definitely be careful. So actually I need to leave this on, right? Because you have to handle the bottle. So what I'm gonna do is, ah, Woo! That was hot. Anyway, maybe hold here instead of here because there is steam coming out and it's still very hot, huh? But it should be fairly easy. All you have to do is kind of like hit one side and then boom, right? Now you're gonna see probably that there's some sticky residue here, right? We could take that off later, probably with soap and water. If that doesn't do it, of course you can use Goo Gone. So, Even though there's some sticky residue, look how smooth and easy these things come off, right? There we go. We have a little bit left on there. No worries. We'll come here, pop, pop, pop. You know, guys, I include the sound effects. They're free. All my videos. This mitt is quite hot, though. <laughs> I'll tell you that, right? Boom, gone. Take this last thing off. There we go. We got one down. I'm going to move this over. Let's do the next. And don't worry, you see how it's, it broke right there? Big deal, right? We come back with this, our scraper. Boom. Two more on this one. Boom, next. There we go. So two down, two to go here. There we go. And these are quite hot. You may, <laughs> you may take a break uh, between the bottles. However, you do have kind of a time frame, right? Because the reality is if the bottles cool down too much, uh, then that glue is going to have an issue too, huh? There we go. One more down here. Because some of you may <laughs> not, not, I mean, my hand is hot. But yeah, I'm okay, no burns, I don't think. But for the video, you know me, I will do it for you guys. I'll take that 12th degree burn. 
I'm just kidding. Anyway, so again, boom, boom, boom. Perfect. Let's take out. There's two more here. Come on, baby. Doesn't want to come right there, huh? Okay, so this one we have a problem. I'm gonna leave this. Uh, I'm gonna leave this one because I'll put it back in the oven for another five, ten minutes, and we'll try to take that label off. If I still have problems with it, then you can use Goo Gone. Goo Gone is an adhesive kind of remover. Uh, it takes away any sticky residue, etc. I'll leave a link in the description. I'll also put a picture of the product on one of the sides of me. Anyways, guys, look how simple that is. Now. Obviously, one thing very important to note is do not take the bottle and put it under sink water right now to get the, gu the gunk off. Because if you do, these bottles are hot. They will explode. They will shatter. They will crack. They will, you will cut yourself. Don't do it. Wait till they are totally cool and then soap and water, scrubbing. You can use something like this, a scraper, to get some of the residue off. If it's being stubborn, use Goo Gone. That stuff works amazing. I hope you found this tutorial or informative, useful, etc. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, man. It would mean the world to me. Anyways, until next time, I'm out.